Hey everybody, it's Zistvon82 and we're here for a bad video game day review. The game we're playing is called Panda Mario. This is a Chinese bootleg and it's apparently very notorious in some circles for... Well, look at it. <laughs> let's get to the actual game and give it a shot. Now, first of all, let's start off with the music. You hear that soundtrack? That is the soundtrack they have replaced all of Mario Brothers with. All of it. Let's listen to it for a music, for a moment. Just sit and enjoy the, I think like seven tones. Now it's been a long time since I studied music theory or anything like that, but that is the single most a melodic, uh, I think is no, no, not a melodic, discordant music I have heard in a video game in ages. Now. Well, the Goombas, I don't know, they don't look too badly changed. Uh, but uh, you'll, we'll get to more on the music later and you'll see why. So, yes, as I said, it's a notorious Chinese bootleg. Many of the things have been changed in the game. Some needlessly, some uh, confusingly. This is what a fire flower looks like now. The fireballs are still the same. I'll give them credit there. They didn't see a point in changing that. Uh, oh yes, let's take a look at the Koopas. That was them. They're a turtle shell thing with a periscope. You may also notice a bunch of borrowed graphics from Super Mario Bros. 3, among other games. And you'll have to excuse me, I'm actually playing this on my Famicom. And the controls are pretty, uh, you know, wonky. So, let's see. The flag? That looks the same. Ah, and there's the music again. That's right, you win and it goes to one long tone, and stays there. It will stay there until something happens. In some cases, and you'll probably end up seeing that, because we're going to see how far we can get. In some cases, the music will actually end up sticking on that note forever. Until you either zone... Or until you activate an item that would, you know, make a sound effect. This can lead to extended periods of time. And we're going to take the warp zone. Those so the underwater stages are wrong. Oh, yeah. We have throwing star plants. And we still have the same music. Forever. Now let's go to world four. Now... My goal is going to be for us to beat Bowser's Castle, because there is some... Ah, Lackey 2. Here's the next thing I wanted to show you. Look at him. Why is Lack... Well, first of all, why does he have a halo? I never really pictured, um... Lackey 2 as being an angel. It was not entirely in keeping with a cloud-surfing monster that likes throwing balls of death. I mean, the spinies are the same. I noticed they didn't bother changing those. But the thing that uh, actually confuses me about this is this is a Chinese bootleg of a Mario game with the graphics changed. In China, it is actually illegal to depict a skeleton. So, yeah. I don't quite get this. Ah, uh, I should have gone for that. Uh, yeah, but a lot of the sound effects are still there. A lot of things are sort of there, but not quite, as you may have seen. Now, there's the noise again, of course. And it'll probably stop when we go into the pipe again. But on a stage where you don't go into a pipe, well, we'll see hopefully after this. It's been a long time since I played Mario, and keep in mind, as I said, I'm playing it on a shitty controller, so. Thankfully, a bit of information out there for people who needed to know the pads and I'm skipping the level warp there to go straight to level 8 because ah oh yeah let's take a look at Buzzy Beetle there just look at him can you figure out what he's supposed to be I have yet to be able to figure it out and I've played this game quite a bit now it could just be my copy of this game because it is a bootleg game on a 84 games in one cartridge but um 
the patterns to actually beat Bowser don't seem, or beat the final Bowser stage don't seem to be right. Now, this is the problem when you have lots of lots of, you know, transfers of one copy of a ROM. Uh, I cannot quite... It's been so long. Ugh, there we go. I was actually a little worried there. But yes. We, um... And there's that, there's that noise again. There it is. Excuse me, I'm mainlining coffee while playing this. Uh-huh. And there we go. But yes. I'm in fact mainlining coffee while playing this in order to keep awake. Because I've been so behind on all of my recordings recently. That this is getting done in the middle of the night. You know. On a day where I have a bunch of other recording to do. So coffee will keep me alive. Ah. At this point I feel uh, I've reached the point. While playing this game especially that what I need is just a beer bong full of coffee. Ah, thankfully the graphics on a lot of these stages haven't changed, so in their more disorienting aspects, they're not too bad. It's enough like the original Mario Brothers will have a lot of muscle memory regarding it. Now let's fight Bowser. Let us fight Bowser. Now, another reason I don't feel like uh, beating this game is all of the sprites for the princess are exactly the same. So you're going to see, or for the, sorry, but your princess is in another castle, are exactly the same as the princess. So I hope I can remember the pattern here. If there is one, I can't remember. There it is. Let's try this. Yep, there is a pattern here. I'm just bad with them. There we go. Let's see. That's right, it is Fetal Harp Seal Bowser. I mean, seriously, the hell is that? Anyway, let's beat this before we die. And we have defeated Fetal Harp Seal Bowser to save a Russian grandmother. But hey, it's alright that our princess is in another castle because she is a babushka. I mean, what more is. There's no point in saving her. This is the wonder of Panda Mario, a game that was fa my brother found, you know, along with the 84 and one cartridge at a Goodwill for, I think, around about a quarter. It has actually provided me with more entertainment. Oh, yeah, and Bullet Bill, come on. I want to show you a Bullet Bill as well, but one doesn't seem to want to come out of there. That's another, yeah, Bullet Ball. Yes, but this is game has actually provided me more entertainment than several games I have paid way more than a quarter for in ages, but is without a doubt one of the worst video games I have played for all of the changed elements in it. Still, if you can find a ROM of it, I recommend playing it just so you understand. Anyway, until next bad video game day, peace out and 